uh, this kind of thing about you, this persona. Everybody looked at me like a fighter. It must have been meant I was supposed to be a fighter in spirit. So um, boxing just fell into my hands. My mom gave me a boxing a, um, boxing catalog to order some gloves because we used to take these gloves to different neighborhoods. Ended up being a list of local gyms in our area. I went to the gym and, yo, it's been part of my life ever since the age of 15. Well, how do you rate Andy? You know, is he one of the toughest opponents you're going to come up against? Well, he's the champion of the world, so I, this is my second time I've been a challenger to a champion, so um, I've been in this place before. Andy is just newly crowned champion, and I'll be very disrespectful if I, 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 if I, would, if I would say something disrespectful to somebody that's made himself a champion. So I have no bad things about him. I think his greatest strength is that he lost twice, and he came back and uh, made himself look very good and win the championship of the world. And boxing in your hometown, it must be something that excites you with the big crowd that's going to be there? I think hugging people more is what excites me and just giving love to people. I think um, as negative people think boxing is, I could sure change perspective of kids' minds when they can say, um, yo, I want to be just like you. And I say, yo, you want to be the champ like me? He says, no, I want to be a lawyer. So it's just let me know how positive I can be. You've been a gentleman all week. Thank, Thank you, Peter. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate Thank, it. you. Thank you Thanks. so much. Thanks. Thank you so much. There's another fighter. I think every fighter has that question he should ask himself. So if it's Andy's decision to want to be knocked out, then he would be knocked out. If not, then it's going to be a good fight. Have you seen anything in his style that you could take advantage of? Well, I think he's probably looking at what I'm doing wrong to try to take advantage of that. And my whole job is to make sure he doesn't do that. Which, you, go ahead, go ahead. Which of his fights have you gone back and watched? John Jackson, but that was a 154-pound fight, so I really can't relate that to my fight. Um, I was I watched the fight with Brian Brian Vera. Uh, First one, fights, one. I'm gonna tell you, all them fights, man, is like this is a totally different kind of caliber kind of fight. This is. This Are you concerned the, about his, his, his hope? No, nah, I'm not concerned with? about anything. I'm concerned about if I worked hard or not, which I did. So I have really no concerns at all. The reason why I ask is because it could be instructive to look at maybe the Chavez loss as many years as that was ago. I know Chavez. Yeah. Chavez is Chavez. Brian Vera is Brian Vera. All the guys he ever fought is their own fighters. You know, um, I can get that wrong perspective of, of fighting and going there trying to fight like a Chavez, and I'll be fighting like somebody that's not myself. Is there more motivation for you coming in, challenging for the belt that you used to have as compared to coming in defending it? More or less motivation? Different kind of motivation? I'm just motivated, period. My heart is built on motivation. I find motivation in all things. Talking to you, being on NBC, having a kid, having fighting a for the baby. belt twice. Yeah, of course. Having, has the baby. Yeah. How about this? Being a positive person. How about, you know, um, when people thought you was going to be a criminal your whole life and then you can make a 360 change and, and be somebody positive in life. And I'm thankful that I'm here and every day I get to put out a positive story about myself. With that said, how hard was it to give up the title belt for the reasons that you gave it up? Uh, well, everything, like those type of decisions are hard decisions to make, but I think those are the career defining decisions that you make that show people where you stand. And I think when we doing that, let people know what kind of fighter I am. Okay, thank you, Peter. Thank, thank you. So you.